there and welcome to another gluten-free news to be baking video how are we doing today today i'm going to be making a gluten-free simple orange tray cake even though i know that these are probably supposed to be called tray bakes instead of tray cakes but i love this recipe because it tastes amazing and i love these types of cakes because they serve just about everyone so you'll be needing the following equipment scales a 34 centimeter oven tray baking paper spray oil a spatula a teaspoon, a cake tester, a skewer or a toothpick, a grater or a zester, a wooden spoon or an electric hand whisk, a large mixing bowl and a cooling rack. Just to let you guys know, my dog Magic is fast asleep on the sofa over there in case you can hear snoring in the background. But to continue with the video, you will also be needing the following ingredients. 200 grams of butter softened at room temperature. I like to use lacto-free butter. 200 grams of caster sugar. Four medium-sized eggs beaten. 200 grams of gluten-free self-raising flour and the zest of two oranges. Let's go! First things first, measure out all of your ingredients so that they're completely ready for you to use and then preheat your oven to 190 degrees C on a conventional oven, 170 degrees C on a fan oven or gas mark 5. Now that you've measured out all of your ingredients and you have preheated your oven, it is now time to prepare our oven tray. So first thing we have to do is roll out our baking paper when I find the end, there it is. Place our oven tray on top, trying to keep it as close to the edge as possible so that we look, so that we waste as little baking paper as we have to. Cut along the sides, putting a little snip in, removing the oven tray and cutting along. There we go. And move your baking paper to one side. And now roll out your baking paper again, place your oven tray on top and, whoop, and just simply draw it around the bottom of your oven tray. So where are you? You are not there. There we go. Now we're fully on. Now cut out what you've drawn. Moving your rubbish and scissors and pencil or pen as you've chosen to use to one side. Now give your oven tray a good spritz of oil. Place your prepared baking paper inside. And give that another quick spray and that's it now that you've prepared your oven tray and everything is going great it is time to actually make the cake so the first thing we have to do is place the butter and sugar into your mixing bowl and mix until well combined so the first step in doing that is to add the butter and now sprinkle on our caster sugar Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Scraping down the sides to make sure it all gets in there. And now mix together until light and fluffy. Now that that is done, grab your eggs. Now that you've got your eggs, just simply tip them in in one big motion. Scraping down the sides to make sure it's all in there. Now mix them together until they're fully combined. This is really important because if you don't mix them in well, you'll get butter melting in places and it will just create holes in your cake. And I also think that mixing it for longer actually makes the cake fluffier in the first place. So let's get on with it, shall we? Now that they are really well mixed together, grab your zest of two oranges and your gluten-free self-raising flour. 
Now that you've got your zest of two oranges and your gluten-free self-raising flour, it is now time to mix them all together. First thing I'm going to do is tip the zest of orange in in one big one big go. Now what I'm going to do is mix this all together so that the orange zest is well combined and spread out all over the mixture. And then continuing mixing, I'm going to add a little bit of the gluten-free self-raisin flour to the mixture at a time until the mixture is fully combined. Now that that is done, scrape down your flour bowl. And your zest bowl, or plate as I've chosen to use. And now scrape down the sides of your mixing bowl. And now mix for one final time for good luck. Now that that is all done, grab your oven tray. Now that you've got your oven tray, simply tip your mixture into it. No. <laughs> now just ease it around your tray with your spatula. And now just give it a little jiggle around in your hands, making sure it gets to all the corners and give it a quick tap on the table to try and shift all the air bubbles up. Now that this is done, place your cake into your preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes until you insert a cake tester, a teaspoon handle, a toothpick or a skewer and it comes out completely clean. Then leave your cake to cool for 10 minutes in its tray on a cooling rack and then tip out your cake onto your cooling rack to cool completely. And that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description, including the recipe for this lovely cake and my shop, where you'll be able to buy all the flour and equipment you will need for this recipe. If you do make these at home, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag BakingWithVicky, which I will put in between my hands. Let me know in the comments anything you'd like to see me make gluten or yeast free as I do both. And finally, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you next time. Bye! Well, I'm going to try it because it just smells amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>